Sangamon Outdoors here. Uh, I've been really, really absent in my pursuit of putting great uh, GoPro YouTube videos out there. Um, I'm trying to get caught up here. I expect to drop maybe two or three in the next few days. But uh, crazy for me, but normal life for me too. So, uh, first thing I'm going to do is show you. Um, my October well, Columbus Day weekend hunts. I uh, really struggle with my GoPro, change phone carriers, and really haven't had been able to get my phone and GoPro to sync. And I was hunting uh, Saturday night of Columbus Day weekend and a little bit Monday morning at Lake San Cruz State Skip, Lake San Cruz State Park, and um, I had a, a really nice deer come in, and I thought the GoPro was going to capture it and frankly you can't see a thing and I apologize for that so uh, uh, I got two or three minutes of video and uh, some nice scenery using some new equipment but can't see much I apologize for that so that's what you're going to see first here all right everyone I'm out here San Chris Got the Clear Creek over here. I think this is looking basically to my north, northwest. That's the way the wind's blowing to. A hill behind me over here. Creek river bottoms in front of me. A fairly big opening over here to my south. And then the same hill back behind me over here. I was planning on getting some type of good hunt on camera today. I don't know if that's going to happen. Because I have no Wi-Fi here, so I'm controlling the GoPro just by the controls on it and not by my phone. Because my phone will not connect to it. Not Bluetooth, not internet. My phone has zero service here, so uh, if there's something I'm not going to shoot, I'll try to get it on camera. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get something on camera that I can shoot, but we'll try. Alright, signing off. Alright, you saw all the Lake Sanker stuff, not real impressive. Uh, I'm in the market to get at least one more, if not two more cameras. I think the GoPro on me would work good, and then I need, you know, at least one digital video camera of some sort where I can zoom in on the deer and the scenery and whatnot. But uh, my second hunt was a weekend. Uh, I guess it would be the last weekend of the high school football season. I missed the big Chatham Rochester game, but I went out to uh, Jim Edgar Panther Creek, stayed there Friday night and Saturday night, hunted 
Saturday morning and it was an incredible hunt. I got a little bit of, you know, a few clips of that. Uh, a bunch of still photos because the GoPro and the phone just weren't jiving and I did a couple where I just used the GoPro as a GoPro but uh, it was a weekend where we got about four inches of rain and I ended up with uh, basically pneumonia after hunting in the cold and rain for uh, six hours on Saturday. Uh, Sunday morning I went back and hunted but I needed to get out of there in a hurry so uh, tons of still pictures there. Scout wants in on some action here. Uh, uh, just a terrible weekend of camera fails and rain and uh, some huge deer that I did not get on film and I did not get shots at either but uh, if you haven't hunted Jim Edgar Panther Creek, explore the park, dig in deep, walk a long way and you will have success, I guarantee it. You'll see. Hey, it's about 6.30 in the morning. I'm out here at Jim Edgar Panther Creek side. I'm doing about a mile hike into what I've been guaranteed is the best place I've ever been. We're gonna find out. 100% chance of rain today. So I'm getting in early. I'm gonna find a spot and I'm gonna make it work. All right, I'll check in later. All right, folks, uh, my third segment of my hunting trips, uh, this would be what I would call my rut hunt. It's my home stomping grounds. Uh, a friend has given me permission to hunt some land. and uh, Frankly, it's not great, but there's some type of magic that happens during the rut. And normally I have a Veterans Day weekend where we don't have school on Friday or Monday and between Friday sunup and sundown on Monday, I get several hunts in. Uh, I did end up this year getting uh, a Friday afternoon, a Saturday morning, and a Monday afternoon hunt in. And uh, I think altogether I saw 11 bucks. A couple of them were shooters. I uh, saw a few does, they were basically running for their lives being chased by by um, <clears throat> rut crazed bucks uh, Friday was sunny and about 40 uh, wind howling out of the south uh, Saturday morning was really cold um, lots of action until about 830 
and then it just went flat cold on me. And then I went back Monday afternoon, uh, wind out of the north, blowing snow, two, three inches of snow on the ground, and uh, saw two deer, both bucks, both came within seven or eight yards of me. Uh, because of the change of wind direction, I was not in a stand. I was sitting on the ground on a hill. and. Uh, I got a little bit of footage of me walking in and me sitting and then uh, I got some of my trail cams caught uh, a couple good pictures of a deer I shot at, hit, bad hit, long story short, uh, hunting in the rain way back and uh, Jim Edgar left my binoculars and the scope of my crossbow with lots of moisture in them and I was dealing with fog. Uh, I ended up taking my uh, scope off and trying to hunt with my crossbow without it, but there's just no sight lines. The scope rail is above the bolt and, and all the locking fire safety mechanisms make it impossible to get a good looking shot. There's no, it's not like a rifle where you look down the barrel. There's just no way to see. and. I took an irresponsible shot and had a bad hit on a good deer. I'm 100% sure he's going to live, so I'll show you that footage next. Hey, it's Sangamon Outdoors. I'm down here in the bottoms. It must be just a little bit past noon. I can sit for a couple more hours. A little midday hunt here. I've got the river bending behind me. Got a nice ridge up there. Every deer I see down here drops down that ridge and comes right between this little funnel right here. That's actually a levee from a pond. And I have this whole bombs area below me. All the trees losing their leaves like it's raining. About 32 degrees out. It's absolutely perfect. Maybe just a little bit too still. I saw one deer this morning. It was over there across the river. The river's a little high, flowing good. The majority of the deer that I've seen, the deer that I've killed, all came from across the river. Especially right at daylight. They like to cruise that shore on the other side. Mornings they run a lot. Afternoons they'll come into a rattle and a grunt this time of year. We'll see. I don't have that much time, so I won't do much after two o'clock because I gotta get out of here. But uh, had a lot of big deer and quite a few coyotes come across the river and just kind of stand right on there and look at me. We'll see what happens here. I've been in here for about an hour and a half now, so I'm going to start making some noise and see if I can get some action going. GoPro's dead. Crossbow got the scope all fogged up. Binoculars are on from hunting in the rain, so almost everything going wrong this morning is completely my fault, but we'll make the best of it. All right, Sangamon. Hey everybody, Sangamon Outdoors, sun's coming up Saturday morning, down the bottoms here. I uh, had a typical move by me, came in um, maybe 10-15 minutes late, so I'm getting situated in my stand and I hear steps. Stand and um, 
I got a, got a deer walking the same trail I did right back to my stand. And I look down and he is literally right underneath me. He's not even looking up at me. My problem is, is that I have my crossbow on the cable laying on the ground waiting to be pulled up. So there's literally nothing I can do with it. So, yeah. Well, I see the deer down there has not stopped my grunt and kept going. So he's now well over 100 yards to my west. So, um, yes. So uh, he was literally right down here below the tangle of ground, these trees below me. And he uh, went right up the ridge over there. <coughs> so uh, after I settled in and got my stuff up here, I often see him across the shore on the other bank of the river. I start rattling fairly hard, and a great buck is in that open prairie grass behind me. And he looks at me, and I rattle a little harder, and he ran away from me. He could circle back and try to sneak in behind me, but I haven't had any sign of that yet, so we'll see. But for now, this is my most recent update. Uh, last time I did some fine tuning on my bow, took the scope off, and mounted uh, a GoPro holder underneath. So we'll see if we can't get something recorded today. That would be great. All right. Sangamon out. Two o'clock in the afternoon. We're, uh, kind of facing a little weather adversary, but we're uh, gonna head in. See if we can use the wind and the weather and this peak of the rut. See if we can't get something done. gonna move a stand. I'm driving back from St. Louis today. It took me about an hour longer than I wanted it to. So I think I might hunt from the ground today. Now one thing I like about the snow is I'll be able to see where the deer have been moving. If they've been moving at all. I'm guessing so, but today is great. So I got heat warmers and my best long underwear on. Every place I'm going to be is going to put the wind in my face. So my backpack's got some warmer weather options. I'll see if I can't hunker down somewhere with deer crossing in my face. My wind. Now maybe I can sit and get covered with enough snow that I'll blend right in. We'll see. I know I got another buddy down here. I'll have to sync up and see if we can share some information on anything that's moving. Today's the kind of day that I might take a dope. Definitely shoot a coyote, but I probably won't get another chance. Maybe till shotgun. 
gun season to get out here. Maybe next Sunday morning, I don't know. We'll see though. So, uh, I'm getting close to the bedding areas. I'm gonna shut this off and get real quiet. Sangamon out. the river see if I can't rattle something in. I expect something at some point to come down this little hill and walk right in front of me. Again, either way my shot is coming down this hill this way or down the hill this way. My shot should be right in front of me with the wind in my face. So if they don't see me, they shouldn't smell me when we or anything. So we'll see. I'll keep checking in. I definitely had a young buck behind me. The grunt and confused probably winded me. I, I stood up to check him out and he was trotting away. Uh, probably not a shooter by any means, but you know what? Anything decent becomes a shooter when you're out here in the snow and it's your last chance, so we'll see. I think I gave you about the 20, 20 some minutes of, of YouTube video. Um, you probably didn't see a lot of action. <laughs> you saw some still shots of scrapes and rubs and uh, deer in the woods off my trail cam. Uh, maybe a video of a cruising buck that I took from my phone. Um, I'm sorry, there's just not much there. Uh, like I said, I'm, I'm planning on more. Uh, look for a mystery tackle box unboxing coming soon and I'm looking at doing uh, my hunting setup as far as my harness and the modifications I made to my sticks and my harness and how I get my sticks up in the tree with me and how I get up and down a tree safely which is something that I have not always done in the past all right thanks for watching Please hit the like and ring the bell and be a subscriber. I'd love to have you.